Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm looking at some easy ways to learn about fractions. Now, obviously fractions are, the idea of fractions is, is basically proportions of a shape and therefore we have to have some shapes in the first place. And it's obviously much easier if we start from simple shapes, create multiple shapes from that using maybe cutout models and then make sure that they're identical and then all the proportion part is looking at counting the shapes afterwards. So for example, if I take a series of triangles, these would be isosceles triangles, and I put them together to create a shape like this, then it's easy now to say, well, how many of the triangles here are shaded? And when they say one, two, three of the shapes, so three out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three out of the eight shapes are shaded, then the fraction is three out of eight, or three eighths. In this case, we've got another representation of the same thing. But this time we've got a column. These are identical rectangles. And we say, put them together. Okay, now what is the proportion here? Well, again, we go back to the eight shapes three out of the eight shapes and we get a proportion three eighths. Of course that's a very simple thing and the shapes are simple. Proportion and fractions can get much more complicated and you can have fractions which are not easy, not three eighths, the 0.515 for example. But at this stage I don't think we're interested in those more complex ideas. I think we just want to start with the simple, very simple cut-out model shapes, put them together into larger, more compact shapes, and then count the similar sectors.